What's up, guys? Welcome to week six, day two. All right, so I just want to read a passage of scripture for you as we consider the helmet of salvation. Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things, for you died and you and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is your life appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to the earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming. You used to walk in these ways, in the life you once lived, but now you must rid yourselves um, of all such things as these, anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to each other, since you have taken off your old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its, of its creator. Here there is no, no Greek nor Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with, one, with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let, let, the, um, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body, you were called to peace and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom and as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the, the Father through him. The reason I wanted to read that verse as we look at the heaven of salvation and um, I want you to read that again, that, that's Colossians 3, right? This is just read that, you know, let that wash you. Because basically, the helmet of salvation is, is you're taking the reality of your salvation and, and you're, you're, you're guarding your head with that. All the truths that you're supposed to be and the things that you're not supposed to be because you're a new person in Jesus Christ, because you've put on a, a, a new reality uh, for yourself. Um, this is what the helmet of salvation is and, and this helmet is protecting you from the lies and the acu accusations that the enemy is, is, is coming to throw at you. You're, you're, you're being protected. And that's what I was talking about last week when I said, you know, the shield of faith and, 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 the, and, um, the helmet and something else that goes with that, which is the helmet of salvation. You have your faith, your trust and your relationship with the Lord. And, 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 and you, you, you get um, by faith, by grace, through faith, you have been saved. And, and in, that, in the helmet of salvation now, all that is embodied. And, and you need to protect your, your, yourself. You need to protect your mind. Because the enemy will come and he'll attack and he'll, he'll um, tell you lies about who you are and whose you are. But when you have that helmet on, you're protected. Just like the shield of faith is, is guarding you from the, from the fiery darts. So the helmet is, is guarding you from the lies that the enemy wants to, to throw at you. You know, it's like a soldier. When a soldier goes into war, they, they have a helmet on, right? And, and, and that helmet is not just to look cool with all the garb that's on it and the head cam and all that stuff. It's to protect. So when a bullet comes, ricocheting or whatever, it can hit that helmet and, and protection is had. The Roman soldiers wore it. It's like a, a, skull, a, a skull protection cap. That's what it's for. When they fell, when a sword came by, you know, they, they were protecting themselves. So put it on. Put on the helmet of salvation. Remind yourself daily. Wash yourself daily in the word of God and the truth of God. And, 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 and continue to, to um, just walk in the gospel and let the gospel be a, a constant reminder to you of your salvation that you receive in Jesus Christ. 
our inheritance we need to protect it and 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 it's it's here it's in the head and it, and it's in the heart and and we use a shield to protect all of that and we use the helmet to protect all of this we inherit a new life a new reality an awesome relationship that we shouldn't have received but by grace through faith we have received it and so we get salvation to put on a helmet. Father God, bless us, be with us, continue to work in and through us. I pray that this will be the truth uh, for many who listen and watch it, Father God. Let them be washed with the gospel and let the, 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 um, the, the, word of, uh, the words that ring true with salvation uh, be uh, repeated over and over, that we will hold on to them, Father God, and that the lies that the enemy comes to throw at us will be thwarted because of the helmet of salvation and the, the shield of faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Be blessed, guys. Ciao. I'm out. Defender of the faith, washed in his blood, get yeah, saved by grace. Saved by grace. I'm a defender of the faith, washed in his blood, get yeah, saved by grace. Saved by grace. Defenders, please stand up. Defenders, please stand up. Defenders, please stand up. If you're living for the Christ, then please stand up. Defender of the faith, washed in his blood, yeah, saved by grace, saved by grace, I'm a defender of the faith, washed in his blood, yeah, saved by grace, saved by grace, defenders, please stand up, defenders.